If you guys follow me on TikTok, then you've probably already seen this video, but I did want to make an extended version where I show you guys how to edit in both Lightroom and Photoshop so you guys can follow along and get the same photo. So I hope you guys enjoy. First type in red blank screen on YouTube and then open it in full screen. Then turn the brightness up and have your subject sit next to the screen. Then use your iPhone flash to light the shadow side of their face. And if yours comes out a bit dark, don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you guys how to bring it up in Lightroom so you have more detail to work with. Once you're in Lightroom, the first thing you guys wanna do is bring down the contrast so we get more information back in our shadows. And we're gonna bring up the highlights, shadows, and whites as well to help brighten up our photo. And now we're gonna bring up the blacks which help recover more of the shadow information. We're gonna do the same thing to this section and slide the pointers to the right to bring back more information. So here's the before and after so you guys can see what we've done so far. Now we're going to the hue and luminance adjustment and we're gonna saturate the reds in order to enhance the red tints in our photo. And because we did take our photo in a low light situation, what we're gonna do is bring up the luminance which helps reduce the grain in our photo and now you guys can see that it looks a lot softer. Now if you want to have more control of the grain and add some back, you can do that by sliding this pointer to the right. Next open this photo up in Photoshop. Once you're in Photoshop, the first thing we're going to do is make a curves adjustment and brighten up the photo by bringing up the midtones and the highlights. Next make another curves adjustment and we're going to slightly bring the midtones up again and then this time slightly bring down the shadow side to add more contrast. Now we're going to add another curves adjustment, but this time it's not for the exposure, but instead we're going to use this one to add tints to our photo. One thing I really like to do is bring down the opacity to about 40% so the effect is not as sensitive. Next we're going to go to the red color and slightly bring it up in the middle and also in the shadow portion. And as for the highlights, I'm going to barely bring it down. Next for the greens, I'm going to bring them up in the midtones as well and then bring them down in the shadows. Lastly, we're going to go to the blues and just barely bring it down in the midtones and in the shadow portions. Next, we're going to make a hue and saturation adjustment and then go to the reds and then we're going to saturate the reds and then bring down the lightness which helps sink in those reds into the photo. Now I'm going to adjust the yellows which affects the subject's skin color and I'm going to saturate it and then bring the lightness down as well. Now make a selective color adjustment and this is where all the magic happens. We're gonna go to the neutrals and then move the black slider to the right to darken up our midtones. And now if you move the cyan pointer to the left, it'll add reds. And if you move it to the right, it will add blue to your midtones. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some blues to it. And then we're gonna go to our blacks which affect our shadows. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing I just did with the neutrals. But if you guys want, you guys can add more reds to your shadows by sliding the cyan pointer to the left and then sinking in those reds to your photo by moving the black pointer more to the right. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it the same and add some blues to my shadows. Now for the last step, we're going to add a levels adjustment to help brighten up our highlights by sliding the right pointer to the left. And now we're all done and here is our complete before and after Photoshop edit. Thanks for watching and if there's any other TikToks that you guys want me to make an extended version to, just let me know and tell me down below in the comment section. I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Alright, peace.